Okay, so to finish today's lesson, I'm going to play some phrases from my book, Jazz Improvisation for Guitar, a Melodic Approach. It's published by Berkeley Press and distributed by Hal Leonard. So if you don't have a copy, you can certainly find one at your local bookstore. And if you do, I'm going to play some examples from page 33. Now the book comes with a CD that um, has all of the examples recorded, but unfortunately no DVD yet. So here's on page 33, uh, what I've already done at this point in the book is shown you how to divide the guitar into four equal areas based on the melodic extensions of G minor with the four triads G minor, B flat major, D minor, and F major. And so now working on playing them over different harmonic structures, we look at the fact that G minor is the relative minor to B flat major. And so we want to play G minor lines over B flat major 7 as well. So if I played G minor and I went and played the same line over B flat major 7, example of B flat major 7 to G minor 7 and the line goes like this and then I wanted to play that same line over G minor 7 C7 it would sound like this if you uh, record the chords or have somebody play them for you and then play the line over top of them. Since I'm by myself, I can't quite do that <laughs> today. Um, anyway, there's, there are a lot of examples in, through the book in, in, through 12 keys that will help you to be able to get more fluid with this. Um, what you can do is start to connect them all together. For example, here's B flat major 7 and if I play the D minor triad this way, and then in 10th position, and then end with the B flat major triad, then I can cover this much of the guitar from the B flat all the way up to the A by going. That's for B flat major 7. Um, coming down. good over, over all of those chords, B flat major, G minor, C7, C7 sus4, C9, 13, sus4, C13. Okay, so here's the uh, last example. Um, it's called Three Bs, which is... Uh, the Da Vinci Code for baubles, bangles, and beads. <laughs> Being that I'm in Italy, Da Vinci Code sounds appropriate. Uh, and so the progression in the beginning is B flat minor to E flat seven, and then A flat major to F minor. And so what I'm going to do is divide that into two areas, as I talked about before. B flat minor and E flat would be one area. B flat minor. And F minor is another area, and that's they're both covered by the F minor line. So then it goes into uh, D minor 7, G7, to C major and A minor. I'm going to do the same thing over D minor. in the in the tune you'll have to either look it up or, or get the book so I'll have my assistant uh, play track number 16 thank you one two three one two three